Since the release of Naruto Storm Connections, I have had the opportunity to both play and watch some very interesting matches. However, I have realized that most people do not understand the concept of max damage in this game. Many are still trying to apply the max damage technique from Storm 4, but truth be told, it just isn't always the optimal route. In this video, we'll discuss the concept of max damage in Naruto Storm Connections and it may be a little different from what you currently do. Now what is max damage? Max damage is when you combine attacks to remove as much health from your opponent as possible, all in one go. How is it beneficial? It can either quickly end a match, considerably extend your lead, or completely turn the match around in your favor. When should you go for max damage? The best time to go for max damage is when your opponent has no substitutions left. In this game, you are given 4 substitutions and they all allow you to avoid any attack. However, your subs take 6 seconds of the in-game timer to regenerate. Therefore, ideally you have 6 seconds of the timer to execute max damage. However, there are some ways around this. The first way around this is by utilizing cutscene animations. A cutscene animation is a non-interactive video sequence that interrupts gameplay. Attacks like grabs, ultimate jutsu and most running jutsu have cutscene animations. The reason these are so beneficial is that in connections, cutscene animations pause the timer while still inflicting damage. This therefore extends the opportunity to maximize damage. Combo Continuation Another way of dealing with your 6 second limit is to use it to your advantage by utilizing combo continuation. Just because the 6 seconds are over doesn't mean you have to drop your combo. Instead, you can opt to continue your combo in an attempt to force your opponent to use the subs that are regenerating. Essentially, you're putting them in a lose-lose situation, forcing them to make the decision to either lose health or lose a sub. Team Selection If your plan is to play the max damage strategy, team selection is extremely important. Your team determines how you will execute damage. Here are some things to consider when selecting a max damage team. Ninja Tools Items like food pills, defense breaking tags, poison tags, bomb balls and paper bombs are optimal choices when going for max damage. Now remember, the character you select first determines the item set for your entire team. Jutsu Now you want to pick characters with Jutsu that allow you to follow up with more attacks or convert. Some Jutsu completely end your combo while others cause stun, stagger, tumble or simply launch your opponent in the air. If you see any of these it means you can resume your combo after the Jutsu. But in the case that your Jutsu grounds your opponent there are also ways around that which we will discuss later. Jutsu pressure is also something to consider when selecting your team. Jutsu with multiple hits or unblockable qualities force your opponent to go on the defensive and they add a degree of safety while applying in-game and mental pressure. You can also choose characters with Jutsu that cause effects. Grabs Similar to Jutsu, some grabs allow you to follow up with attacks. This is extremely optimal considering that grabs inflict big damage, are unblockable and also cause cutscene animations which both pause the timer as well as clear the field from threats. Once you've settled on your team, it's time to design your max damage combos in practice mode. To do so, you need to learn and utilize your character infinites pretty much everything we've mentioned so far. Now let's look at some different approaches to max damage. A typical Storm 4 style max damage application looks a little something like this. Oh, no. 
The Storm 4 Max Damage approach takes off approximately 50% of Hidden's health. Whereas in Storm 4, a shortened version of the same combo would have taken off approximately 90% HP. This is because Storm Connections has introduced damage scaling into the Storm series. Damage scaling basically puts a limit on the amount of damage a combo can do. The longer the combo, the less damage it will inflict. This is why we must approach max damage differently from Storm 4. Currently, because of the combo versatility that Connections offers, most people are focusing on creativity, creating combo sequences for their favorite characters. Here's an example of how one might look. Now this sequence has its pros, see that it ended up inflicting 51.49% of Hidden's health. However, there can be an even more optimal approach. Optimal max damage requires risk in connections. However, if you master it with your team, you will be a force to reckon with. If that's your goal, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. The secret to max damage in Storm Connections is a concept I like to call Combo Resumption. Combo Resumption refers to when you purposely drop your combo and then resume it. This is done with the intent to reset damage scaling. Damage scaling resets when your opponent regains control of his main character. Resetting damage scaling gives you a fresh opportunity to maximize damage. However, the obvious risk is that if you drop your combo, this gives your opponent the chance to escape. This is where your supports and mental plays come in. I've found six methods of combo resumption that will drastically lower your opponent's chances of escape. Combo resumption via unblockable attacks. Most players hold block while they are in a combo. Hence, if you drop the combo, they will be able to block. Unblockable attacks are perfect for these situations, allowing you to safely force a reset and bypass your opponent's guard. The team I have here is Shino for his items, Rock Lee for max damage, and Kakuzu for his unblockable jutsu. Let's see the combo I came up with. Notice how I threw the paper bomb to drop the combo. After doing that, I called out Kakuzu with his unblockable jutsu. Then quickly threw a kunai to restand Hidan. Notice how after the restand he was able to block. This lets me know I have successfully reset damage scaling. Because I did it quickly enough, this minimized my opponent's options. I followed up with a team UJ for max damage. Combo resumption via grabs. Now grabs are OP because it's an unblockable that every character has. However, there are some that you can convert from which makes them extremely optimal for max damage. For this team, I have narrowed to the last for his items and pressure and I'm using Kirin Sasuke for max damage. Now let's see how grabs can be used for max damage. Yeah. 
I put an end. Take this. In this sequence, I utilize grab delays. Seeing that the stun on his IC3 is so minimal, if I delay my grab just slightly, it gives my opponent just enough time to block, yet not enough to escape. Therefore, every time I used my grab in this combo, I was resetting damage scaling. I also utilized cutscene animations to stop the timer so I could get more damage done. After equipping my pill and tag for max damage, I used Naruto's Jutsu for pressure to force my opponent on the defensive, resetting the scaling once again. This ended up being a touch of death combo for Jigen. By now you should be getting the hang of the mental approach to combo resumption. Take a look at the other methods and see if you can figure out the strategies. Combo resumption via guard manipulation. Can't you defend? Get him first. Can't you defend? Let's go. Ascend on. Very nice. Catch you later, Bob. Combo resumption via the guard break pill. Burn away. Let's go. Flame control, planetary devastation. Combo resumption via support instant guard breaks. Kinshiki's second jutsu serves as an instant guard break, therefore after Momoshiki's attack, all I had to do was reset the block with a kunai. Kinshiki took care of the rest. Combo resumption via pressure and jailing. That's your grave. No way. That's your grave. Combo resumption is the optimal way to go for max damage in Naruto Storm Connections. Just remember to keep your resumptions tight and watch out for your opponent's supports. Also, be sure to master max damage with every member of your team because there might be times where you have to switch to another character. Until next time, see you online. Peace.